latest animation opens a world of creative opportunities. While YouTube has good tutorials, but finding a step-by-step -step guide from beginners to advanced is the real challenge, and this course is here to solve that. Whether you are a beginner or in intermediate stage, this is the only course you will need to master text animation in After Effects. So this is the very first lesson of this course where we are going to start with the basics of text animation in After Effects. And then we are going to animate an entire animation like this in After Effects. And as always, you can access the video open file from the link provided in the description. And don't forget to hit the like button of this video, that will help this video reach out to newer audience. So without any further delay, let's dive right into it. Okay, now we are in After Effects and let's start with adding a text layer. So one way you can add a text layer is by going to layer, click on it and new and from here you can add a text layer. Another one is from the toolbar. So this is the text tool, if you click and hold, you get two options to add the text. One is horizontal type tool, another one is vertical type tool. Let's select the horizontal type tool for now and click anywhere on the composition window. And now you can type whatever you want. It's going to add the text in the text layer. And if you want to add more lines to the text layer, just hit on enter and continue typing. Now once you have done adding the text content, you can deselect the text layer to get to the layer mode. Once you again select on the text layer with the text tool, you can get inside the text mode. And now you can edit the text. Now again, if you want to get outside the text mode, just deselect the layer. And there is another tool as I mentioned earlier, there is a vertical type tool. With this tool, you can type the text vertically, just like this. Okay, now let's delete the vertical text and only keep the horizontal text. Now center the anchor point for that select the layer and control plus alt plus home and align it with the composition window. For that we can use the align panel. So first align it horizontally and then vertically. Now let's check out the properties panel of the text layer. So once you select the text layer, here in the properties panel you get some options to customize the text. Now if you cannot find the properties panel anywhere in your After Effects user interface, then just go to windows and Search for properties panel. Here is the properties panel. Just check it and the properties panel will pop up in your After Effects user interface. Okay, so in the properties panel, first you get the layer transform properties. Then you have text and then paragraph. So in text, first you get the option to change the font and the font style. Right now I have selected Arial Black. Then you get the option to increase or decrease the size of the font. From here you can increase or decrease the distance between the lines. From here you can increase or decrease the distance between the characters. And if you select a specific word, you can only edit that particular word, keeping the other part of the text exactly as it is. Then from here you can change the fill color to a different color. And if you check the stroke, you can even add stroke to your text. And from here you can change the stroke color as well. And here you get the option to increase or decrease the stroke width. And here are a few options for the stroke and fill. So let's get back to the white fill and no stroke. Next we have the option to stretch the text vertically or horizontally. And from here you can offset the text. So this is more useful when you select a specific character or a word and want to offset it on a different line. You can do that very easily with this property. And from here you can change your text to all caps or small caps. And from here you can add a superscript or a subscript. So let's add a digit at the end. And let's say I want to add it as a superscript. So click here and it's added as a superscript. And if you want to add a subscript, then you can click on the subscript and it is added over here as a subscript. Next in the paragraphs panel, we have the option to customize the text paragraph. Right now it is aligned center. If we align left, it's going to completely align the entire text to the left. If we align right, it's going to align the entire text to the right. Not only that, if we continue typing something else, it's going to add the text to the right like this. And then if we select align left and then again continue typing something else, it's going to add the text from left to right. And now if we align the entire text to the center and now again continue typing, now it's going to type the text from the center. Ok, now let's check out the layer properties of a text. So inside the text layer, we have two different properties. One is the transform property, which is the anchor point, 
position, scale, rotation and opacity. And inside text, we have few more properties for the text. First one is source text, then we have path options and more options for the text layer. So we are going to check out these two properties later on. So first let's check out the source text. So here we have a stopwatch for the source text. So let's add a keyframe on this property. Now once we add a keyframe, it adds a hold keyframe. Now let's jump onto a few more frames and let's change the text layer. Maybe we can add something else. If we preview it, you can see the text is updating after the keyframe. So the source text property stores the text content whatever you type in that given time. Okay, now let's see how to animate text with source text and the transform property. And we're going to animate a famous quote from the timeless genius Leonardo da Vinci. This is the audio file we will be using to animate our text. And first let's start with adding the markers where we want to switch the text. So let's start with the very first word. Let's select the audio file and press the asterisk key to add the marker and you can double click on it to add some comment and I want to add the word that I want to display at this particular marker. Okay, now somewhere around here, we are going to display the name Leonardo da Vinci. So select the audio file again and enter the asterisk key and double click on it to add the comment and in between we have to animate the entire text. So over here we can add the text sophisticated and then in between these two markers we have to add the other words of the sentence. Now let's start with adding the text layer. So select the text tool and start with the first line. Now make sure to center the anchor point, align the text with the composition window and just resize it to fit the entire composition window. And I'm keeping the paragraph center aligned. That is very important for this animation. Now let's open the source text. Let's add a keyframe here in simplicity and let's trim the layer from the start to frame one. So we want to start the animation from frame one. So the shortcut key is Alt plus open square bracket. Let's add another keyframe at the marker where we have added the comment is, where we have added the comment is, then the and then ultimate. So at simplicity, we will delete the entire text and only keep the word simplicity. Now on the marker is, we will only keep the word simplicity is and delete the other words. Then do the same thing for the next marker and the whole line is visible on the marker where we have added the comment ultimate. Now we have to highlight the word ultimate. So let's duplicate this layer one more time. Change the color, the fill color to black. Now let's add a rectangle shape and the fill color is going to be white. So let's rename it and put it below the black text layer. Now select the black text and the highlight layer and trim it from the start and use the highlight text layer as an alpha mat. And when you use this layer as a mat, the visibility may be turned off. So you just have to turn it on. All right, now we have to add a little flicker effect on this rectangle. So let's jump on to next three frame and we will be starting the animation from here. So open the opacity property by pressing T in the keyboard, add a keyframe on opacity. Let's jump on to next four frame and then give the opacity 0%. Again four frame and copy and paste the first keyframe and do it for one more time. So we are going to convert all the linear keyframes into hold keyframes. So select all these keyframes and press and hold the control key plus the alt key and click on the keyframe. And the linear keyframes are converted to hold keyframes. And let's start the animation of the highlight from here onwards. Now we're going to add the word sophistication. So we can simply copy it from the comment of this marker and add a separate text layer and paste it. Well, we have to change the color as well since we have changed the color of the text layer to black last time, center the anchor point again and align with the composition window. Well, we have to resize it. And also I would like to change the in between words between the S and the N a little smaller. So let's give it around 110 so that we can fit the entire line inside this region. Okay, now we have to animate the text sophistication. So we have to bring in the word from outside the screen. So trim this text layer from the start from this point. Now we have to add a keyframe on position. For separate the dimension, we can only work with 
the x axis and the scale at the same time we have to pair in this text layer and the highlight layer with the main text layer and open the position property separate the dimension and only work with the y position and add a keyframe on y position and one keyframe on the scale property now let's jump on to next 14 frame and now just resize the text layers and align it with the composition window to properly fit it inside the screen and at the start we are going to move the sophistication word outside the screen and scale it up now select the keyframes easy is it and adjust the motion graph editor based on the type of motion you want for your text animation so i want to add some ease at the end now let's add a null object and parent all the text layers with it so now i want to add a little zoom out animation as well so let's start the zoom out animation from here let's open the scale property and it may go on till this frame and let's scale it down and just easy is it okay let's start the zoom out animation after a few frames maybe somewhere around here and again adjust the motion graph editor and here i want to add some more ease at the end and maybe decrease the ease at the start a little okay now we have to animate the name text let's move the time indicator to this marker and now we are going to add a solid layer and move it behind all the layers split this layer one more time and put it above all the layers and change the color of this solid layer so for that we can go to layer solid settings and change it to some white grayish color this one looks good and now we can just split all the layers and delete it from this point and we don't need to work with all these layers so we can just shy it out and lock the layers and now let's add another text layer for the name so let's change the color to black move the anchor point at the center of this layer and align it with the center of the composition and just resize it so let's move the start point of this layer from this point in the time indicator so for that we can press the open square bracket now we want each words of this text in a separate text layer we can either copy and paste it and do it manually or we can use a free plugin called decompose text you can download it from the ascript.com and i will provide the link in the description anyway so all you have to do is select the text layer and from here select word then click on approximate position without expression and click on decompose and now you can delete the layer with the entire text in it and now you have to just reposition the text manually and readjust it a little bit now let's add a rectangle shape cancel the fill and select the stroke now duplicate this shape layer one more time and this time we want to select the fill and cancel the stroke rename this layer as mat and move it behind the stroke layer select all the text layers and use the layer above as a track mat now let's animate the text layers from outside the rectangle so open the position property add a keyframe add then jump onto around next 25 frame and add keyframes again let's jump onto the first frame and let's move it outside we can move the leonardo word up then this one down and this one up again select the keyframes press f9 to easy as it move on to motion graph editor and we can add a hard is at the end and maybe decrease the is a little bit at the start and let's offset the keyframes a little bit so that everything doesn't appear at the same time okay now we will add a modifier trim path on this stroke layer so go to add click on it add trim path add a keyframe on start and offset and now we can jump on to next around 70 frame and again add keyframes so at the start we are going to keep the start 100% and at the end the start should be 100% and the offset we can give it around minus 150 or minus 160 now select the keyframes easy is it and again repeat the process add a is at the end and we can start with almost no is and now to give a final touch we can add a little zoom in animation so again add a null object and parent all these layers with the null object remember you don't have to parent the background layer just the text layers with the matte layer from here we are going to start the animation so open the scale property add a keyframe and we can animate it till the end so let's add a zoom in and it's going to be a very slow zoom in animation 
and we are just going to keep the keyframes linear for this one. And this is how it finally turns out. And that concludes this video. So this was just an introductory lesson where we were familiarizing ourselves with text layers in After Effects. From next lesson onwards, we're going to dig deep into more advanced techniques to animate text. So if you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I'll be happy to help you out. And if you're here for the first time, then make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.